Yo, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Square Dead Zone and running it through Steam. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using DS4 if you are using DS4. Um, I would recommend going to Steam. Uh, through DS4, I feel like everything's just... It feels way better and way smoother. If you do make the switch from DS4 to Steam, uh, trust me, it's going to feel very weird. But if you just grind it out for a week, just play, you'll get used to it and you won't regret won't regret switching to Steam. All right. The first thing you want to do is go to your library and with my thumb Wi-Fi, I guess this might take a second. Hello. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, for some reason, my computer's been really slow, but you see right here, I have Epic Games Launcher. What you want to do is you want to go down to, your, to add a game. You want to add a non-Steam game. You should click that. And then it should pop up with this add non-Steam game and you're going to search for what you want to add. And in this case scenario, you want to add Epic Games Launcher. So you would search here and add Epic Games Launcher. For some reason, my computer is being super slow right now. Uh, I am connected to my Wi-Fi, so yes, don't say that in the comments. Don't like... Ask me a million times if I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, but yes, I am. Uh, you want to look up Epic Games Launcher. My keyboard is not working either. <laughs> it's factory, so I can put my keyboard here real quick. Okay. okay, so here's Epic Games Launcher. And obviously, nothing pops up for me because I already have it added. But right here, you'll have Epic Games Launcher and add that as a non-Steam game, all right? So once you do that, it should be in your library. So you want to click on to your Epic Games Launcher as like the app. And then you're going to, once you have your controller connected, you will see a controller. If you do not have a controller connected, you won't see this controller at all. So if you guys don't know how to do that, go to big picture mode. I guess I'll show you guys this real quick. You go to big picture mode. And for me, I'm using a PlayStation controller. You know, I feel like that's one of the better controllers to use or an Xbox controller, whatever you want to use. Totally up to you. But for my preference, I like to use the PlayStation controllers. And so once we are here in big picture, we're going to go down to the bottom left where it says menu. And settings. And you're going to go over here to controller. And then where it says PlayStation controller support, you'll hit enable. Or if you're using Xbox, Xbox controller, you just enable that. All right, and there's some other settings in here, like turn off controller when exiting big picture mode. You can flick that on if you want to. I have it on. So my controller is going to turn off once I, bit, once I exit big picture mode. Sorry, I'm starting right now. But then once you have that enabled for whichever controller you want to use, just go down here back to the menu, hit power, and exit big picture mode. And then just steam should pop back up here in a second. Kind of takes a second sometimes. For some reason, my PC is being like really slow right now. So for me right now, my controller is off as you guys can see right now on the light. There's no light and at the bottom, uh, it's disconnected. So I'll show you guys what it'll look like if your controller is not connected. So obviously you will not have that controller because your controller is not connected to Steam. But turn on your controller and give it a second to connect through Steam. Your controller should pop up. There you go. And what you want to do to get the square dead zone is you want to go in here. Get on that controller, hit edit layout. And you're going to want to go to joysticks up here, alright? And then left joystick is where you're going to want your square dead zone for Rocket League. And you hit the settings right there. And you go all the way down. And where it says dead zone source, you're going to want to hit on custom. And then down here it's going to say dead zone shape. You're going to want to put this on square. Alright? And there is this setting right here, which it's kind of controversial i don't know if you should keep it at normal or not um i guess you could try out normal go ahead and try that see how you like it um but right now i run 1576 this is what i found as the best settings for to feel like the most controlled over your car sometimes you feel i guess loose in a way where you don't feel as in control of your car but this is what i found is like the best and the command radius just keep it normal i've never changed it at all 
it's fine. Um, that's pretty much it for as far as getting the Square Dead Zone set up through Steam. So the next step, you can just go ahead and close out of that. This is a crucial step. So if you've been kind of like not really paying attention, just kind of following along, pay attention, like deeply listen. You need to go to your task manager. This is every time before you launch Rocket League, when you freshly start up your computer, you want to go to task manager and go to Epic Games Launcher and end process tree. I'm telling you, if you do not do that, it will not work at all. End process tree. Make sure you do that step. Once it completely ends process tree, it should go away from your task manager for some reason. Okay, there we go. Mine's gone. Perfect. And you can just close out task manager. It doesn't matter. And then launch Epic Games through Steam. If you don't do that, if you launch it through Epic Games itself, like literally click on Epic Games, it's not going to work. So just give it a second. Once you launch it through Steam, it says launching. Uh, Epic Games will pop up. All right. Just give it a second to load. Sometimes it takes a little bit. But if you just have some patience, you'll be good. <laughs> My patience is low, though. My computer's also being really slow right now. Just give this, <laughs> give this a little bit. All right, here we go. We're doing, we're doing something here. It shouldn't take that long. If it takes that long on your computer, then. I don't know what to tell you. I guess you just got a slow computer like me. My computer's not usually this slow, but okay. Go ahead and just launch Rocket League. Just click on it once. And Epic Games should close by itself once you launch the game you want to play. So, it's my computer being slow. This might take a minute. Uh, if you want to, you can skip ahead a little bit or you can just listen to me yap. Okay, so now. You can see Rocket League is opening at the bottom. My computer is being just so slow right now. I don't know why. So, sorry about that. With it being slow and everything. Um, here we go. We're doing something now. It's launching. It's launching. Let's give it a few more seconds. And it should launch. If you guys are still watching... Comment down below how long you've been playing Rocket League for and how many hours you have. I think I've been playing since like, I played started playing in 2015 when it originally came out. Um, I really started playing more in like 2018. So I've been playing the game for a little while and I have like 3,400 hours, I believe. And yes, you're gonna flame me in the comments for being champ three and having that many hours, I know. Okay, so here we are. We're in Rocket League. And if your controller doesn't work right now, then you're having some you're having some troubles. Go back in the video, rewatch, make sure you did every single step right. Especially if you didn't do that end process tree part, it's just not gonna work. All right. So just to show you guys that it is square dead zone. I hear things set up. If you're on PC, you can also check this. Just make sure you have Bacchus mod and have this joystick self check. This is just another way to just kind of double check to make sure that your square dead zone did work and if it moves around that big old square box in a square then you my friend have square dead zone if it again isn't in a square going around in a square around the square you did something wrong so i really hope this video helped you guys out i know a lot of people in the rocket freestyle community want square dead zone and some people just don't know how to get it because some people i think the only person that's really made a video on it is like mac tough which i mean shout out mac tough w guy w rocket league freestyler um i hope this guys i hope this helps you guys out good luck on your freestyle journeys uh, i've been freestyling for pretty months now best shots probably a pen to reset or a ground pinch cycle or something like that um so let's keep up the grind hope this guys help Hope this helped you guys out. If it did, smash the like button for me and uh, leave a sub. I'll try to make some more tutorial videos and stuff. Maybe some mechanic videos, some like 360 Mac Tough videos. Maybe how to do that. That's a 360 Mac Tough or Jack C's if you guys want that. Or even like helis. I'm not necessarily really good with helis yet. I'm definitely learning them. 
Uh, or if you guys want like a settings video or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll push out some of those videos for you guys and just help you guys in your freestyle journey. So I hope this video helps you guys again. And uh, good luck. You guys are a freestyle journey.